Hey everyone, what if I told you skiing parallel is actually impossible? Let's have a closer look at what I mean by this and how this can affect your skiing. Let's start off with two ski tracks, the inside ski and the outside ski. As you can see, they are both following their own respective paths. One is a bigger half circle and the other is a smaller half circle. Both have different distances travelled to, but this is another topic. If we start at the top of the turn, if you follow the path of the circles, you can see that the skis are diverging. In the middle, they pass through parallel, and at the end they converge, and at the transition they pass through parallel again. Depending on how much distance you have between your skis will make the difference on how much of this happens. If you have a very narrow stance, then the skis will follow more of a similar path. If you do a big carve turn with a lot of flexing of the inside leg, then this will become more prominent and they'll follow more different paths. Let's have a look at some turns. First off, you cannot see the divergence when you're looking at a skier from down the hill. You have to look at them from the side and just after the transition into the shaping phase is where you actually see the divergence. Looking up from the bottom of the hill is just the wrong perspective. At the end of the turn, it is natural for them to come together because the balance is on the outside ski, which makes it bend more than the inside ski. And also the outside ski is turning back towards the inside ski on the circle. So it compounds the look of converging when someone is really balanced well over the outside ski through the end of the turn. In a carved turn, this is natural and should happen in this order, but it often doesn't happen in this order because we make mistakes. So let's have a look at a few mistakes. If your skis are diverging at the end of the turn, then this is a good indicator that you are balancing on the inside ski. If you are stemming at the top of the turn, then this usually means you haven't released both skis at the same time, or you're incorporating some kind of step or push out with that outside leg. Anyway, this is just something silly to point out as the end goal should be to ski as parallel as possible even though it is technically impossible for many instances. Not to worry, if one of these mistakes happen then we have carving exercises over at projectedproductions.com to help you improve these aspects. I'll see you guys next time.